Hi, welcome to the Bruce Cizal Research Channel. I'm from Montreal, Quebec. My name is Bruce Swartz, and this is definitely one of the most controversial channels on the internet, on any platform. Why? Because I'm touching something that affects the system, little secrets that come out, whether I'm showing it properly or not. I'm still showing some signs of a manipulation on the moon, and I'm showing signs of activity now on the sun and this is um, a recap that we're going to do and we're going to show today's uh, video which is yesterday's activity on the 25th so it started off by this one which is like lo and behold look at it it's incredibly massive these are solar flares larger than earth yeah larger than earth do the comparison of the sun with earth those of you who doubt me who are not sure or maybe just quite simply didn't research what was that? That was nice. Did you see that go by? Let's look at that again. <laughs> and again, this is on the footage from a couple of days ago, and we'll go see today's footage. Let's just go back and see that cool flyby over the solar flares. So let's see that again. Solar flares, and we're going to see some UFOs go by. Froom, froom. Oh, what's that? I don't care. <laughs> I don't care anymore. I'm just going to show what I'm filming. You guys can think they're birds. You can think it's freaking Big Bird from Sesame Street. I don't really give a crap. I know my community appreciates it. And the truth is the truth. Let's see that again. Painstakingly. For trolls' sake. Right? By the way, remember that I've stayed here even though my revenue is being literally taken away outside of my pockets. It's being pulled out dollar, or should I say, didn't make much dollars, maybe cent by cent being pulled out of my pocket by hackers manipulating all my channels on all my platforms. I got Facebook problems. Patreon was suspended. I was able to get Patreon back up. So remember, while we're looking at these UFOs, who is still sticking around, right? Am I here just for money, you think? Well, now I'm getting the money taken away and I'm still going to be showing these amazing videos. It's very upsetting. It affects the way I... Uh, my mood is obviously trying to do my work, but I'm going to continue doing it. It's like a job, right? It is my full-time job. And my job is to show my community who supports me everything I find out there, and I will continue to do so. So we saw in the north some solar flares too. Today, under uh, the moon is, uh, sorry, <laughs> yes, the moon too. Uh, we're going to see some solar flares and spots on the bottom of the sun from yesterday, the 25th filmed filming it all week to uh, take note of and document all the sunspots. That is definitely not a plane, nor is it a bird, and it's something flying by the sun. When you do the work, you know whether it's a bird or a plane at one point because the same characteristics keep coming back when you're doing the research. So day two, the other day, was this. The last video you saw was... Um, the changing places of all the solar flares as we can see now there's some in the bottom there's some in the west and don't forget there's still some more there that i'm not seeing it's all with the filtering and adjusting the exposure we're not going to hide it um, if you want to see the spots more or less just play with quite simply with your exposure i'm not using any big high-tech filters a regular polarized paper to look at the sun and i'm seeing the solar flares here's you know dark triangle fueling up on the sun but we won't really bother that one we'll just leave that one at that we'll just say it's a solar flare and we are on the surface of the sun literally you can see all the electromagnetic static and the heat and the intensity and the movement and the atmosphere between earth and the sun whoop there's a solar flare in the bottom right whoop just sparked up and then just stopped so they're, they're starting all over the sun and there's lots of them that we can't see because they're too far from us to be able to see and witness them but this is my first time that I've ever had the opportunity to see so many sunspots on the sun, which is, by the way, not, not anything good, <laughs> not good for us. Um, you all know, every one of you, that it can manipulate the storms, change weather phenomena here on Earth, and that is exactly what is occurring. So here again, how is it affecting the animals, do you think? When the bad weather started and the flood started, so did the sun. When there's bad weather or massive earthquakes, quickly go outside and film the sun and you will see most likely 
these solar flares. And again, I can't mention it enough, that these solar flares are bigger than Earth. Have you seen how many I have shown you in the past three days? I've shown you over 20 flares. <laughs> At least. There's even some that I'm not mentioning. And in the spots on yesterday's video, it looks like there's about 30 flares on the ground. You could try to count as many as you can. Just, just, there's just so many of them. So these two are there today, right? And so far, I've seen sunspots for the first time in my life, three days ago, starting then, three or four days ago. I, I saw them in the north, east, south, west. Every side of the sun. And it's facing Earth. Look right now in the bottom of the sun. I know there's a flare on the top left there, but in the bottom, look at the massive dark spots. There's about three or four of them that lead off right from the center tip going upwards a bit left there. You see those spots. Hard to see, yes, but it's important to know that those are massive solar flares. So they're facing Earth. They're on the bottom side of the sun, and this is very dangerous. It definitely is very dangerous. I could quite safely tell you to put a hat on your kid and to put extra sunscreen on them. And obviously, don't be so dumb as to get a tan, okay? Trust me, it could be dangerous. Whether we know if it's cancerous or not, it really could be dangerous. Another thing that's very important, every one of you viewing this video, please spread the word that it is very dangerous to film the sun. Never look inside of a lens to look directly at the sun. It'll kill you. It'll blind you. In the near future, this channel will be a large one. It'll be finding a lot of stuff out in space and hopefully helping others understand exactly what's out there. It's helping me to understand and you, my awesome community, obviously. Isn't it beautiful? Look at that, everybody. Who would have thought in these dangerous times witnessing these horrible events and scary events on the sun, who would have thought that it would have been so beautiful? Yes, there's, <laughs> morbidly speaking, sort of a, a, a beauty to what's going on in reality. It's just, you know, the sun is incredible. We've never known anything about it, and now we're going to find everything out about it. But it could be too late. It's At the moment, it's actually waking up. Look here. There's another solar flare just beginning that I'm getting the chance to show you all as it's happening, right beside the other massive solar flare. I really want to thank you, Frank, from New Snecados. Snecados. I never pronounce it right. It's an amazing Spanish-speaking person, and he has a Spanish-speaking channel. He spoke a lot about my research. Now, this guy with Planeta Snecados and... News Snekados has two channels with over 1.5 million bloody subscribers that he mentioned me almost weekly for the past few months during the year. And I thank him a lot. And even after he did that, he himself absolutely mesmerized that I'm not getting a lot of support. And that's the worst of it. These are beautiful things that we can see and we can witness. But the system does have a hold on us. But we still have our say in certain things and there are certain things and certain ways that we can still share this information together. But I need your help by sharing my channel. And now, listen, I know lots of you, a lot of you do. Most of you probably do. But for those not doing it or for those who don't realize that maybe this channel will be taken down one day, I'm approaching 100,000. You all know that it would be a beautiful, beautiful goal to reach to reach that goal and it could happen that I disappear. That's that's the way life is. Truth appears and disappears all the time. Truth comes out, somebody enters, uh, integrates some little lie inside a large amount of truth, and then everyone's confused. But those of you like me who are to yourself and have spent long, <laughs> long periods of time for years alone, with no one around you, doesn't it, doesn't it wake you up? You have the time to see everything that's going on around you. Every, every single thing in my life I've ever gotten was because I fought to get it. And I'll keep doing it. So now we're on the moon. And yes, this is 
the full moon of a couple of days ago, my friends. The moon, full moon of July. If I'm not mistaken, it would be called the Thunder Moon. Wouldn't be surprised if it sticks every month now called the Thunder Moon. I know the Thunder Sun is really active. Let's take down the exposure. Oh my gosh. I mean, the beauty. See that? It's dark on the moon when you go there, you know. There's days and nights, even though the days are longer. And what we're seeing is always that ball of light, that annoying ball of light. But that light is what is showing us the details on the surface. Let's do a little zoom up on Aristarchus. This is just a glimpse of the full moon. I will get some more footage up and we'll do some more viewing of the full moon if you guys enjoy it and gals. And let's do a zoom up beside Aristarchus Crater because there are lights billowing on the surface. Whether these are industrial companies, I believe they are. And we are witnessing the activity, literally witnessing the activity. So watch what it does by bringing the exposure down just a little bit, okay? No music today. I want everyone to concentrate on my annoying voice today. Aristarchus is right there. And I'm looking right there as we're zooming up. And you see the billowing light. There's smoke on the surface. There is activity and movement. The next telescope is going to show us that and when I get the bigger scope, the 14-inch telescope will be able to film the sun. Did you hear me? Okay, just making sure. 12 years ago, guys started a fundraiser trying to raise money for a van. And now today, he's pissed for whatever the reason that I have a large telescope. I sort of stole his dream, I guess. I understand him. But he's going about it all the wrong way. And that's why he's just floating there on his channel. Not hacked, but still dead. The system doesn't have to take me down. They know amongst ourselves we will fight together. Doesn't matter cause the slow just coming soon. Cause the slow just coming soon. 